I'm Sissy Fickle-Stahler, and four years ago, I had a very rare condition, an amniotic fluid embolism that comes with an 80% fatality rate. I ended up being very lucky to be at a hospital that had a blood bank. One thing that no one expected was that I would go into DIC, which is where your blood stops clotting, and you basically bleed to death. In the emergency room that day, there was so much blood that they had to put towels down for the doctors to stand on. I ended up requiring 20 units of blood, which is twice what your body will hold. Fortunately for myself and my son, we came out of it perfect. Although he was born in a month and a half early, he spent some time in the NICU and is perfectly healthy to this day. I went through some physical therapy and to this day I have no health problems. My body completely accepted all of the new blood and I feel fantastic. One of the great things about coming to Blood Assurance is the people. They have been so accommodating and welcoming to me. Everyone knows me by name here, and when I come in, they recognize me, and they get me in, and they get me out very quickly. It's actually something you could do on your lunch break. Um, they've got the snacks and the drinks, and you always get a free t-shirt, and so that's always a plus. But the one thing I wondered before I came in was, how long is it gonna take, and I guess just what the process would be like. But you get to know the people that work at Blood Assurance, and they are so grateful for your donation and that you volunteer your time to come in because they understand how important it is to donate and they want you here. They make you feel so welcome. If you've ever considered becoming a blood donor or wondered what it was about, stop in a blood assurance today. It'll only take a few minutes of your time. It's very easy, painless, and it couldn't go any easier. In addition to whole blood, there are other ways that you can donate. Platelets and plasma are also needed. I received 20 units of blood in addition to other blood products. So even if you may not have a rare blood type or one that you think is needed, there are many ways to donate to save lives. I think I must have been a little arrogant about my health. I felt like I was healthy, I worked out, I never had any health complications, and the thought of ever having to have a blood transfusion was not on my horizon in the least. When that happened, it was mind-blowing really, and it brought me back to Earth and it was a good wake up moment that it could happen to anyone because it did happen to me, someone who was young, healthy, without any health problems in the least. And in that moment, I desperately needed the blood that other people came in to give. I wish I could find the people that gave for me because it was at least 20 people, maybe more, and let them know that what they did for me was save my life. And they gave poor little boys their mother and I'll forever be indebted for that.